Just like that time when it got weird between Mulder and Scully. You can't quit now, Scully. I can, Mulder. This is Luke and Lewis on Triple M Modern Digital. Oh, what? It's lunchtime. You know what that means. It's time for Luke and Lewis for lunch. Just like that time when it got weird between Luke and Lewis. And <laughs> Mulder and Scully as well. Everyone remembers that classic moment. Um, whatever TV show that is. <laughs> now, Lewis, today is a big show. Yes. We made the big call yesterday to do a whole hour in the elevator because our bosses said, we, we pitched them a segment saying, hey, Just we, one segment we, is wanted, all we wanted to do. We want to do a four minute segment in the ele- elevator. And they said, no one wants to hear you for four minutes in an elevator. And we went, you know what? We agree. They don't want to hear us for four minutes. They want to hear us for an entire hour. So (laughs) half of our show today will be recorded live from the elevator. I hope I don't get motion sickness from the constant uh, going up and down. And I also hope I don't get claustrophobic. You know, I thought it it gets hot in this studio because it's a small room. The elevator would have to be one-tenth the size. Yeah, and also... It's going to be a sauna show by the end. It is. And before that, we have our very first uh, celebrity interview interview. Yes. But it's a bit briefer than you'd think. Mm, It's the biggest celebrity interview that we've ever had on this show uh, in in the history of Triple M Modern Digital. Which I would like to say is a Hard, but it's not. No, so. <laughs> no, it's not an achievement at all. But you know what? Here at Luke and Lewis, we don't achieve anything. Lewis, Luke, yes. Uh, oh, were you going to tell me something? Well, uh, whatever, ahead. whatever you were going to say is nowhere near as important as whatever I'm going to say right now. Are you ready? Brace for impact. <laughs> Bracing. Hang on. Go. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Okay. Oh, oh, I've just debraced. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift is about to uh, release her new single. Yes. Um, and hasn't she uh, already released two? Well, I think... Every Taylor Swift song is a single. Yeah. She doesn't record an album track these days. She works in parts, and she just calls all of them singles. Well, she releases an album. They're all just tunes. Yeah, exactly. Except for her last three, which haven't been. (laughs) Sorry, Taylor. I mean, I'm a big fan, just not of her recent stuff so much. But you know what? It might grow on me. Well, I think the, uh, the song name of her next upcoming song will intrigue you. So she's had Look At What... Look What You Made Me Do, mm-hmm. correct? Then Ready For It? Yes. And then is this her third? Yes. What's the third one? Call It What You Want. Okay, so do I get to decide what it's called? No, no, it's called Call It What You Want. See, I don't like that, Taylor, because it's opening the floor to me and it requires me to be creative. And that's a lot of pressure. Mm. Putting it to me going, hey, Taylor, I don't know if you want me to be thinking of your, your third. Yeah, She's a big international artist. Do you really want to put it to your audience? As well, to what I to think call this song? Yeah, I don't. I think that's just lazy song. Well, not lazy song writing. Lazy song title writing. Yeah, like call it what you want. No, Taylor, you call it what you want. It's your song. <laughs> I don't want to call it. If 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 you were telling me, like, if I get the call on this one, I'm going to say, "Oh, Taylor Swift's new single's coming out, titled Garbage." <laughs> Like, but that's, that's mean. That is mean. Yeah. Have you heard the song? Or no, she hasn't it hasn't released been it. released yet. I mean, I don't even know what the song is. So song's you don't called. even know what it's about. Yeah. So how are we supposed to title this song, Taylor? Yeah. We can't call it what we want without knowing what the song is about. Yeah. This we is, haven't heard the song. It's a scandal. It's ridiculous. And <laughs> and most of her titles are like vaguely like questions or they're basically just just throwing to people listening to it. Like I've got this song here called Ready for it. Actually, it's called dot 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 ready for it. So there was a sentence that we've just not heard about, and then she's so what's asked she the ready question. For? Well, no, it's what are we are we ready for it? Well, I don't know what we're supposed to be ready for. Luke, ready for it? Did you hear that pause? That was the ellipses. The yeah, dot, dot, again, dot. but she didn't even include Luke in <laughs> her true. song title. Well, maybe that's what the rest of that song title is. Stop it's being like, so goddamn Luke, vague, Taylor. Ready for it? <laughs> Well, there's another song here. We've got uh, Look What You Made Me Do. Yeah. Taylor, I didn't make you do anything, all right? I don't even know you. <laughs> I've never met you. You're famous. I'm just I'm just sitting here in Triple M Modern Digital talking about what we should call your next single. Unless she's talking to the uh, American tax department or something. Like, who else controls Taylor? I don't know. All of her, all of her song titles are just incredibly Shake confusing. it off. Shake what off, Taylor? <laughs> Seriously, every single song of hers is vague as, I knew a trouble. Cool. Yeah. Who? <laughs> Who was trouble? This one here, it's Which called... ex-boyfriend was the one causing you so much trouble? Yeah, well, not me. 
<laughs> now, Lewis, it's time for a segment that I've been looking forward to do for a while now on the show, because yes. we've been trying to get guests, you know, but we're down here in the dungeon of Triple M. Uh, Triple on... M Modern Digital, which, well, which not even people at Triple M know about. No. So you wouldn't think, not, none of the celebrities that come into Triple M and Fox get into this thing. So yeah. today, uh, we thought we would do this. Getting the biggest celebs. And asking the hard questions. Well, hard question. This, this is Luke and Lewis's Brief Celebrity Interviews. That is right. Luke and Lewis's Brief Celebrity Interviews. Now, now because we can't get people into our studio, we can't book celebrities, no. but celebrities are constantly walking around the radio station going to on their way to interview <laughs> other with shows. other shows. <laughs> So we thought, while they're on their way, walking through the hallway, we ca- we have time for a brief interview. Because we still want to give you guys the biggest celebs and the biggest scoops. And all of the gossip. We we want to keep you informed yeah. here at Triple M on and So we ambush them in the car park. <laughs> Pretty much. Now, when and we say brief, it's brief. Like so we won't. Re- they're they're busy people. They're celebrities. They only have time really for one question. Yeah. So we ask them the hardest question we can think of. Like we just put them under the pump, pretty much. Oh yeah. And today I was walking through the corridor and I saw Alex Nation, ex Bachelor contestant and winner of the 2016 season of The Bachelor. 2016. Lewis- so biggest celebrity like, in Australia. Well. Not this year, because technically Laura, Laura won this year. So, second biggest celebrity in second Australia. Biggest, the second biggest celebrity She's, in Australia. She is now broken up with Richie, who uh, they ended up together at the end of the series, but unfortunately now they broke up. But she was in the radio station today. Lewis walked straight past her, and I was like, mate, do you know who that is? And Lewis I had no went, idea. I had to remind Lewis, because obviously she's the second biggest celebrity. And um, I would have known the first biggest celebrity, uh, probably not. Alex <laughs> Alex was uh, very kind to give us our very first brief celebrity interview, and this is how the interview went. Um, this is Luke from Luke and Lewis for Lunch with Brief Celebrity Interviews. We're here with Alex Nation today, former Bachelor winner. Yeah. 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 Um, what's your favourite colour? My favourite colour is blue. Thank you very much for joining yeah. us today, Alex. So kind of you. <laughs> Have a good one. Whoa! Well done! Our very well done. Brief celebrity interview. I asked that hard question. Were you expecting blue? I was not expecting blue. I was thinking, I was I was vibing her as a green girl, maybe a purple chick, but not blue. Blue blew my mind. Her, <laughs> her top gave it away because it was light blue. She was wearing blue jeans as if well. I should have known. If she had said green, I would have actually thought, hang on, she's lying here because she's yeah. wearing two items of blue clothing. But thank you very much for Alex for doing that. Yes, um, and first celeb. That's and, and these celebrity interviews are going to become a very regular thing. Well, we can't tell you when it's going to happen next. Because we don't know. Like I because saw George... we can't book anyone for a time to come in. This was supposed to start last week, and uh, Georgia Love was in the corridor, mm. but uh, then by the time I went and got my phone, she left. So <laughs> we have literally one minute to get the we'll interview. We'll tell you who we've missed so far. We've only missed Bachelor. This morning so I missed, missed Peking Duck, Sophie Monk, uh, Georgia Love, and... Uh, now I finally got Alex Nation. Yeah, but we're on the lookout now, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do brief celebrity <laughs> interviews as often as we can. We might do three in a row one week. We might have none for three months. It all depends <laughs> on whether we share an elevator with a celebrity or not. <laughs> Lewis, today we're doing something very, very... It, it's a big call we made yesterday, but we like making big calls in this show and then having half to follow show, through on them. Half our show is making big calls, regretting it before we're on air, and then doing it live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that happened yesterday. Uh, we pitched a segment to our producer and some of our bosses that we just want to do one four-minute segment in the elevators just here at the segment, offices. Just for four minutes in the elevator, because we found out that it sounds awesome when you high-five in the elevator. We wanted to tell the world. And our producer, Matty, said, that's boring. Nobody wants to hear you in an elevator for four minutes. So we thought, you know what, Matty? We agree. <laughs> so let's do it for an entire hour. <laughs> so today, we're doing this. Two men, five floors, one elevator, one hour. Whatever goes up, must come down. The Elevator Hour with Luke and Lewis. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing half of today's show live from the elevator, which is going to be exciting. Yes, and also claustrophobic and scary, because mm. I don't... I mean, no one loves being in the elevator. I never go, no. oh, yes. 
elevator time. No, it's it's definitely convenient, but I don't have a passion for sitting in an elevator. Like I, I was thinking to before, be honest, I prefer um, an escalator. So next week, mm. let's do the escalator hour. <laughs> I'm going to get really tired. <laughs> we just have to keep riding it up and back. <laughs> yeah, that'd suck. Let's not do that. No, but it'd I'll, just be like a weird treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the other day. What's the longest amount of time I've actually ever spent in an elevator in my life, like in one sitting? And I would, it's got to be less than two minutes. Like every time I've ridden in an elevator, it'd be less than two minutes for sure. Because even when you go to like those tall hotels, like the high rise buildings, you know, 30 floors, there, those elevators are a lot quicker. And yeah. you're right, it's no less than a minute to the top, really. Yeah. So um, we're going, we haven't trained for this. Like we're going from, <laughs> from two minutes personal best. To do, do you need a hour. train to stand in a metal box? <laughs> Look, mate, they people need a train to uh, go to the moon. Yeah. They need to get in those gravity to, to prepare for the G-forces. I, I don't think we're ready for the G-forces True. of this when elevator. When humans try and achieve greatness like this, usually we train. Uh, usually they train, you know, there's yeah. years of space preparation. Um, we this- could die. Like, we're pioneering something. This could be the last show we ever record. We could die of dehydration. Mm-hmm. We could die of claustrophobia. I think you could die from that. <laughs> It'd end up being a heart attack, probably. Yeah, we're risking our lives to bring you guys some brilliant content on Triple M. That's what Digital. we do for radio. We're that passionate about the medium and the platform that we mm. just want to give you guys <laughs> one hour in the elevator. Now, do you reckon it, it will be annoying having constant interruptions of people coming in throughout the hour? Because this I is a of that. widely used elevator. We can't close it down for our show. Yeah. People still need to get up to work. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that because we pitched the idea. We asked, oh, if seeing as we're going to do an entire hour, can we actually close off the elevator? And we were told unequivocally, no. <laughs> Just like we were told no in doing a segment in there in the first place. Yeah, so they're already upset with us and we're trying to shut down half the elevator. But in when the, the man tries to shut you down, what do you do? You spend an hour in a metal box for no apparent reason. <laughs> so not only is this the best hour of radio we've ever done, it's also a protest. And we also, in the hour, it is... <laughs> Yeah, it's a it protest is. against people trying to restrict us. They told us, Luke, you can't walk to work. You're you know, not going to make it. Most you people can't do an hour in the elevator. If you do two hours, you're going to get fired. <laughs> we'll let you do one hour. It's ridiculous. Most people try and stick it to the man. We stick. To, we are going to stick it to the janitor when I end up peeing in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, stairs. Attention, Luke and Lewis are back on the air. Full yeah, on. Okay, no. Announcement over. Please be silent while I'm using the megaphone. Oh, would you like some music? Lewis, please yeah. stop. What? Put the megaphone down. Why? Because it's time to put the megaphone down. What are you talking about? This it's is the just... best part of our radio show. No, it's and not. I think everyone agrees. We've had many callers calling through megaphones and telling me that continue to use the megaphone. I'll be bringing it into the elevator hour. Shh. Okay. Stop. Firstly, we don't get any callers ever, <laughs> so, so that's a lie. And secondly, no one has ever told you to uh, to, to put the mega. <laughs> okay, no one's encouraged this. You've been, okay. We need to explain. Let's backtrack. I let's, have encouraged. Let's backtrack Thank a lot. Well done. For Thank those you. who didn't hear yesterday's show, Lewis thinks it's funny to use the megaphone. Not funny. Uh, great to listen to. Good radio, good content, funny, entertaining, engaging, whatever whatever buzzword you want to say, as long as it has positive connotations, you're, that's what I think. You're using it to distract people in the office, and you're oh. using it to uh, yell out from the balcony that leads over the shopping complex down below the studios <laughs> to yell at people buying bread from the bakery. What else are you supposed to use a megaphone for? What are you supposed to use it for? To, 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 for anything but You've nothing. You've been stumped. You have no answer. This is what it's supposed to be used Not for. Not for a radio show. Now, <laughs> do we have evidence of Lewis annoying people in the office? All right, this, this is what Lewis was doing yesterday. You're just freaking people out. People think there's an emergency. I would tell people to enjoy their shopping, obviously. Okay, so I think it's time for this megaphone business to end. I'm going to confiscate it. And uh, would you, you agree? Try if you try, I'll well, call the police and sound the alarm. I've man. actually <laughs> organised a little intervention I'm not for you. You I, are I'm addicted. I'm not addicted. I can stop the megaphone whenever I want. I just don't want to. Go stop it now. No. <laughs> See. <laughs> This is an addiction at its worst. What you're seeing, people, it's not funny. It's an illness. It's not an illness. It's a hobby. 
Well, it was, I've brought together some of your friends from the radio station it's who have interest. witnessed this megaphone behaviour, and we. I th- don't have any friends here. Objection. <laughs> well, that's true. I've I've got <laughs> some acquaintances who you know personally at the radio station, and we've all banded together, and we've created a little audio package. It was very last minute. I did it between the songs. <laughs> is that where you were? Yeah, <laughs> and and this is what we all think about your megaphone use. Hi, Lewis. It's Radio Mike, a.k.a. Sideshow Mike, sitting opposite you in the studio at the moment. I think you should stop using the megaphone because every time you use it on air, I have to lower your mic because the microphone clips the sound, which means we get really staticky sound. Lewis, it's time to put the megaphone down. Hi, this is James Blake, panel operator at the radio station. Uh... Uh, Lewis using the megaphone in the way that he does uh, is dangerous because he's doing it in a joking manner. If there's a fire and people just think that it's Lewis joking around, there will be an office full of crispy corpses and it will be on his hands. Lewis, it's time to put the megaphone down. Lewis, this is Maddie. Can you please put the megaphone down? Hey, Lewis, it's Luke sitting opposite you right now in the studio. The megaphone is just not very funny. So, Lewis, it's time to put the megaphone down. Hi, Lewis. This is Luke, pretending to be a customer service representative from the bakery you harassed yesterday. They refused to comment on the issue due to legal reasons, but I can tell, just by looking at them, they weren't amused. Lewis, on behalf of the bakery, it's time to put the megaphone down. Lewis, on behalf of those who love you, and those who vaguely know you from around the office, it's, it's time, time to, to put, put the, the megaphone, megaphone down. down. I, just, I just wanted to thank everyone for their concern. <laughs> I've realised that I do have a problem with this megaphone, and uh, I think it's time to put it down. But before I do, I would like to let everyone know that my addiction is an emergency, thus requiring an alarm. <laughs> addiction cured. <laughs> Lewis has put the megaphone down. Thank you, well guys. done, Lewis. Thank you. I'm sorry for the intervention. You. Paid off. Um, I, I just, I love you guys. Thanks for saving me from my addiction to the megaphone. <laughs> this is Luke and Lewis for lunch, featuring no megaphone. <laughs> Hey podcasters, quick interruption to the radio show. We just wanted to let you know that after this show, we're going to be going on break for two weeks. And uh, that is because, not because we've been fired, believe it or not, not people still want to air this show. Yeah. We actually took two weeks off uh, for, Lewis, you explain why. Yeah, so I've got a comedy special taping coming up. It's my first ever comedy special. Basically, if you don't know, I uh, crowdfunded about $60,000 to film a comedy special, which is just a a live show recorded for an hour, and I need to focus on that to make sure I nail it, because it's a lot of money, and if I I mess it up, it'll uh, it'll be a travesty. So we're just taking two weeks off to focus on that. Luke's also going to be opening for me, so we just want to nail this thing. Right. That's not the reason. The reason is I gave you a two-week ban for megaphone abuse. Uh, uh, way too much over usage. Uh, and <laughs> I'm not banned from the megaphone. I just yes. unbanned myself. Does this mean if I have two weeks off from the show, I have uh, two weeks where I can use my megaphone? We just cured your megaphone addiction. I don't know why you're going back. Oh, no, You're I'm relapsing. relapsing. Yeah. Emergency, I'm relapsing. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it is a joint reason. One, Lewis was a, we had a two-week ban. I banned him for our uh, radio show for two weeks. And I thought, oh, that show would suck. It'd just be me and Michael hanging out. I like Michael, but, I mean, I just don't think Luke and Michael is the same ring to it. So I was like, you know what? Two-week ban. Conveniently, you had a comedy special that you had to tape. And, oh, oh, what? I've been putting three years of work into this. Oh, it's the most important event ever in my career. All right, mate. It's because your megaphone addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, uh, come to Lewis's comedy special. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's about 30 tickets left. Google Lewis Spears Tick Attack and you'll find it. It's in Melbourne. There's two nights, 30 seats left each show. And he Luke will, will not be have there a too. megaphone, hopefully. Uh, well, you know, that might be how I'm closing I the show. I can't promise that because he's a man on the. He's a rogue right yep. now. Come and see my live megaphone hour, <laughs> <laughs> November 17 and 18. And, uh, and also, thank you very much for you guys for listening to the podcast yeah. every week. We appreciate it. Um, it'd be awesome if you told a friend about it. And uh, yeah. The Elevator Hour with Luke and Lewis.
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come for us to step into the elevator and record the final hour of our show. People think around the office that we can't do it. They said no one has done an hour in the elevator only because no one could be bothered. I don't think people said that we can't do it. No, I think it's, it's, it's actually possible. not that impressive. <laughs> I think that people are saying that we shouldn't do it. Yeah, because it'd be a waste of time and not good radio. We disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we disagree. So uh, the reason why we had this idea is we pitched uh, an idea for just a four-minute segment in the elevator. Our producer, Maddie, told us it would be boring and unfunny. We agree with her. Obviously, she was trying to say that she wanted us to be in there for an entire like, hour. What? Just four minutes? Do more. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is during the songs, we're going to set up our recording equipment and move into the elevator, and we'll be broadcasting live from uh, then on. The next, uh, the next time you hear us, we will be inside. We elevator. may get another brief celebrity interview. Who knows who will come in the elevator? I mean, there'll be workers coming in and out throughout the rest yeah. of the show. Uh, right we'll now. just keep doing the show. Lewis has made up a little sign mm-hmm. uh, that says, you've just drawn on a piece of paper that says Elevator Hour with Luke and Lewis. You've spared no expense. I found a whiteboard marker. I found an A4 piece of paper, and I made possibly the second greatest sign of all time. Yes. First greatest sign being... Was our internal marketing campaign. This is internal yeah. marketing campaign number two. Uh, we're not sticking it on Eddie Maguire's face this time. We're sticking it on the back of the elevator. Yeah. Just so people know that when they walk into the elevator, they're not in an elevator. They're on they're a national in... radio show. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're no longer in an elevator. They're currently on uh, Triple M Modern Digital, which yes. uh, apparently not many people know about here, but yes. uh, this will hopefully educate all right. people. We're all ready to go out and start the elevator hour. Let's do it. This is Luke and Lewis in the elevator. Well, not yet. (laughs) The Elevator Hour with Luke and Lewis. Luke and Lewis for lunch. It is time for the Elevator Hour. So, uh, we're in the lobby, uh, about to enter the lobby now. Uh, There's two elevators in the building. And I don't think anyone's ever done an hour in the elevator before. I don't think anyone's ever done more than like uh, uh, two minutes in this elevator. So, So an hour is a big step up. Which one do you think we're going to use? I well, they're both at left, lower basement. Or they're both at low, or left's oh, coming up It looks more. like it's the left. It's so up ground. Is that ground? So what I've done is I've made a sign uh, that we're going to blue tack on the inside of the elevator. Just so people know they're walking into a radio show, yes. not an elevator. Because uh, <laughs> we did research this, but apparently you can't close an elevator. Like, So this is going to be in and operation. You can't close an elevator. Oh, it's oh. a freshie. It's empty. There's no one in the elevator. We right. have entered the elevator. Uh, and which level should we go to first? Uh, the hour has begun. Most importantly, let me stick my okay, sign stick up. Stick the sign up first, okay. then we'll decide what Signs level we're up. going we to We have officially first. claimed... This elevator. And the hour starts now. I think we should let the elevator take us where it wants to take us. Well, currently, if we don't press a button, it's not going to take us anywhere. <laughs> oh, I forgot my pass. I've so, got mine. Oh, you got yours? Oh, right. Oh. We need the pass to use it. Well, okay, you, yeah. should, uh, you should you, make a Okay, choice, no, sir. do a blind one, man. Close your okay, eyes all and right. destiny decide. Just There's drop my your phone. phone. Okay. All right, are you ready? My eyes are closed. And, and go. And you didn't press A. What's that? That's the level we're on, too. <laughs> <laughs> and the door we made just it. Oh man, this elevator that is really so quick. quick. Okay, right, let's do, do one another blind Close right, your eyes. Get your hand near the buttons. Where's you do this. put my hand near it? Okay. Okay. Near it All and right. ready, set. Oh, what's that? Oh, you press two. We're going to ground first, then basement. Woo! Oh, and it starts. Okay, so we're gonna have to survive in here for an hour. Should have we bought chips? We well, yeah, we don't have food. I'm hungry before we started this Maybe thing. Maybe we could call Michael and get us food. No, there's no reception because we're in an elevator. <laughs> oh, that's true. Okay, we just made I'm it just to the ground. I'm head out at ground level oh, on Get the back street. in the elevator, oh, man. Sorry. You're ruining the elevator hour. Um, I didn't leave the elevator. Right, should we hit the, the door close button? Yeah, All close right. it. All right, so do we need to set up like a urination point? Because I forgot to pee. Mm, there's, uh, Which corner? Left well, generally right? you'd choose the furthest away corner, but, but this is p- perfectly a metric box. Uh, we've just made it to uh, to B, basement. There's yeah. still nobody in here. You know what? And I kind of get why Manny might have been like, hey, no one wants to hear you guys. <laughs> 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 because there is only five floors. Like, we should have gone across the hotel, across the yeah. road, and done one with 30 floors, not five. We should have gone all the way to the top, like to 30, then pressed every single button, and we yeah. could have given a floor tour. So, <laughs> we're currently still on basement. We're just, um, are we just going to let the spirits take us where they want to take us, or should we take control of our destiny and press another number? Um, I think we should just go back up and reset, because after the break, we want to try what we originally came in the elevator to do, which was 
to recreate the perfect high five oh, that we yes. had once. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm excited because for Because this. this metric box just environment, this closed environment, it's a bit of an echo. You might be hear it. Did we and just start moving? We started moving oh. automatically. This is a ghost elevator. We're going to get on one. We're, one, I'm calling it. We're going to get off at one. No, why did it just start moving? You didn't press a button. No, oh, I no, didn't. Someone else has pushed someone it. Else That's pushed how button. elevators work. Hi, welcome to the elevator hour. With Luke and Lewis Hi. on Triple yep. M Modern Digital. What was your name? And do you work at Triple M? Yes. Have you heard of Triple M Modern Digital? No, I haven't. I mean, <laughs> yes, of course. This is why no one's heard of us, because we're doing shows in the elevator. Yeah, our budget is so low that we, only, we don't have studios, and we just have elevators. Phones, that's a really yeah. Big we had to buy the equipment ourselves, though. Yeah. Okay, well, this and is your stop. Thank you for joining basement. us Enjoy. on the elevator have hour. A great trip home. This is Luke and Lewis for lunch. I, I already forgot her name. <laughs> the Elevator Hour with Luke and Lewis. That's right, we are in the elevator for an entire hour. And the main reason we're in this elevator was to prove our producer, Maddie, wrong. Because she told us that... Oh, we're actually, we're proving She said her. four minutes. She said no one wants to listen to you in the elevator for four minutes. So we said, you know what, we agree. Yeah. No one wants to listen to us for four minutes, so let's do a whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so really, we're not even proving her wrong. We're actually agreeing with her. Obviously, what she was trying to say by it would be boring for two minutes is you should do an entire hour. Yeah, so we read through much. the lines pretty clearly. Thanks yeah. for the tip, Maddie. She's so good <laughs> like that. Um, we're on the basement at the moment. I think we should go back up to the top because yeah. I'm feeling like I'm losing oxygen you down need, here. You need your I need pass. my pass. Yeah, scan it. Go back up to pass, level up two. two. Oh, I feel like... Oh, no, wait. Losing oxygen is, means it's higher. So now yeah. we're about to lose oxygen. I'm, about to, I'm feeling a bit claustrophobic I'm at the just moment. really unfit Yeah, are you starting to feel claustrophobic? I don't know, you know what? I've never been in, I've never been in an elevator for this long okay. In my life All So right. you, know, I'm, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting like sea legs You know when you're on a boat for a while Because it's moving on the waves Level yeah. 2, oh, nobody's no getting in Alright, let's go back down um, Now the reason why mm. we got in this elevator The reason why we wanted to do this We suggested uh, to do a segment in here Because the other day when we were riding up to work We high-fived Just and spontaneously high-fived Perfect. In this environment, we found out is the perfect environment to high five. Even if you slightly miss the high five, yeah, it sounds crisp. It upgrades your your three out of ten to like a ten. It's yeah. crazy. You can do any kind of high five. And if you, you want. hit an eight, oh man, you get an eighteen every time. Oh, yeah, I reckon if you slap someone in the face, it will reverberate across the country. Like this, <laughs> we, we go national. This show is a national radio show, yeah. so we want it to reverberate across the country. So we wanted to do the high five now. Do you need to warm up your hand or anything? Um, um, no, I don't need to because this is Mine's just a the perfect sweaty. location. This is my pocket, oh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm sweated on the wall. That's um, good. Oh, ooh, you that's... just left a stain. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, shall we do this Maybe we five? just count to three, two, one. And guys, we'll put the microphones in the middle so you can hear the high five at premium audio quality. You count us in. And this let's is going to be five. crispy as. All this right, is ready? some of the best radio I've ever done. <laughs> so, <laughs> three, two, two one. one. Oh! That was... Dude, we almost missed. You hit... That wasn't a very good high hand. five. All right, let's do a good one. Okay. Look, at, look at my elbow. That's how you one, do one. Ready? One, two, three. That oh, was better. That was amazing. Man, my hand hurts, but it was yeah, worth it. absolutely worth it. My hands hurt, but my ears are pleased. Now, that's the best noise <laughs> in the world, right? Yeah. But we also found out that in the elevator... You can actually make... Well, Lewis found out this. Yeah. You can actually make the worst noise Are you in ready? the world. All you've got to do is hold down all of the buttons. All five. That what sounds like an elevator having a heart attack. And you know what? If you do it too much, it jams. So stop. We'll get stuck in here for more than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, wait, what happens if you press... You didn't press every single button then. Press all seven. Um, oh, wait, there's someone here. Um, no, cool. I, no, the doors are opening because I just pressed all you the buttons. You know what I'm surprised about? How infrequently people ride the elevator here. We were like, man, there's going to be so many guests on today's show. We have yeah. one. Earlier. No, we've only got one person, really. Like, I would think that now many people would want to be like, involved in our there show. There was a couple of people who came in the song and they, would, they saw our sign on the wall that said the elevator hour with Luke and Lewis and were just bummed that they were on Triple M. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah, this is, uh, we're, we're what, 20 minutes or 15 minutes in now yep. and uh, we are still in the elevator. The door keeps opening. I don't know why. Who it's keeps a ghost elevator, man. I'm telling you, there's a phantom running this. I think the elevator is getting involved with the show. All right, let's high five it out to the break. This is Luke and Lewis, The Elevator Hour. The Elevator Hour with Luke and Lewis. 
Luke and Lewis for lunch on Triple M Modern Digital. We are still in the elevator. It's been, what, 25 minutes now? I've lost track of time because we're in a, in a glass box or a metal box. There's no windows. In and the- oh, hey, Jack. Joined by... You've been on the show already. Post. Yeah. Post, welcome to the elevator hour. What is this? Well, it's <laughs> it's where it's it's in the name. It's where we do an hour of the show from the elevator. So, welcome to the show. Can I use it? Am I allowed to go down? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Use the elevator. They, people spe- have been coming in the whole show. All oh, right. They specifically told us we were not allowed oh, to. You spared no expense with the uh, A4 piece of paper and blue texter. The elevator. <laughs> Actually, it's blue, blue whiteboard marker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> couldn't even find a texter. Where are you going? I'm just going to get a feed. Oh, you okay. Want me to pick you up anything? You hungry? Yeah. Um, yeah, we are. Water would be awesome. It's so hot. Yeah. It's actually cool. really hot in here. Well, it, oh, thanks for joining us. You're about in to the, miss um, your stop. Yeah, you're going to miss your spot. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah. If, um, <laughs> if you're still here in like 10, 15 we minutes, we're, we're, I'll bring you a water. Yeah, all right. That'd be awesome. Right. Thank you very much, see Jack. Jack. We'll see you soon. We're in the right elevator, in case Bye. you forget. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> wow, there we go. Jack was our, <laughs> Jack was our uh, second guest of the elevator yeah. hour. To be um, honest, I thought more people would be coming in and out of this elevator. I think we're in the dud elevator. Yeah. Uh, I have <laughs> I feel a little bit sick, You to be get honest. motion sickness really easily. We're in yeah. an elevator. We're not at a theme park. <laughs> well, we're going up and down constantly. This like, isn't the giant drop. It's on, five stories. We're on and the we're move going, now. We're going really slow. Yeah. You know, the thing is, it's not a ghost elevator. I thought, oh, it's trippy how the elevator moves without you touching the button. But it's because other people press it. And it goes to collect, pe- to collect actually, people. But actually, you know what? It says we're on level one, but the doors haven't opened. Yeah, but so we were on ground just two seconds ago. So it's ago. moved, but it's not going to It open. moved up once since Jack left. You know what? I think the elevator's default position is level one because that's in the middle, thus uh, making it more efficient. No, ground's in the middle. No, ground is the... Oh. Yeah, ground's in the well, middle. Well, the default position has to be level one because we're at level one right now. We used to and be it's at ground. Not moving. If someone pushed the button, it would have opened. But I kind of like you. I feel like we're moving right now. Hey, get this. I just noticed yeah. the other elevator, its maximum is 15 persons. This one is 20 So people. this is just is just a more fun elevator. It lets more it's not even in. bigger, though. It's the same size as the other elevator. I, I'm worried that if we press... How many Lewis's do you reckon? Probably like four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried that if we press the open door button, we're not actually going to be at level one. We're going to be in limbo. Press it. I don't know. I don't think it's safe. We're, gonna, we're about to enter a new dimension. Go okay. press it. Because yeah. no, one, no, one, no one's pressed This is the, the elevator moving of its own accord. So here we go. And... Didn't do anything. Oh, it doesn't know there's people in here. Oh, do we Luke, have to scan it? We're stuck in we're the stuck elevator. In the elevator. <laughs> now I'm definitely going to have to use the P corner. Okay. I'm going to have to go. Um, so the elevator hour has just been extended to the elevator 24 hours. We'll be back on Monday with the... <laughs> <laughs> we're stuck. Um, can you call wait, wait. people? <laughs> we're actually stuck. Oh, no, no. Let's just pick a level. No, we just had to choose oh. a level. Oh, it's we're, moving again. We're back on the move, okay. Oh, man. Oh, that freaked me out for a little bit. I thought we overloaded it, and I was like, there's only two of us, not 20. Oh, we made it to level two. Oh, All let's right, get well... Let's ground again. I'm sick of this. I hate level two. <laughs> Less oxygen up here. All right, guys. Ooh. We'll see you after the break. I'm about to use the pee corner. This is Luke and Lewis for lunch. The Elevator Hour with Luke and Lewis. Luke and Lewis for lunch. We um, are back. We just still had a scare that we got uh, jammed in the elevator, but all is good. We're moving again. Um, I think we're what level are we on ground? This is ground. Oh, level. welcome oh. back, everyone. Jack Post what? back. How, wait, did you get us some water? Didn't come. Are you are you on air now? Yeah. Yeah. You lied. You yeah. said you're going to get us water. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get for food? I had a chicken cashew nut stir fry. I actually thought about the water. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's three fifty here. Maybe I get one from the supermarket as I as I get back closer. And then as I got towards the supermarket, I was like, nah, can't be bothered. <laughs> That's rude, as because we really need it. We didn't play for an hour. Oh, hour. Ooh, someone hey, news come in. Welcome to the elevator hour. I'll tag team with him. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Good luck. See you later, Jack Post. Oh, see you later, Jack, and welcome to our new guest. Jack. Uh, the, this is who is it? Another Jack. Jack Clevenger. Yeah. yeah so nice to join us. So you're on the elevator hour with Luke and Lewis. We're doing a whole hour show in yeah. the elevator. We're on uh, Triple M Modern Digital. Have you heard of it? Yeah, of course. One of the dab stations. Oh yeah. yes. You know about it. Yeah, yeah. 
Not many people know about it. Yeah, someone no. from Triple M had no idea we worked really? here. <laughs> anyway, that concludes your interview. This no, is your fine. stop, I believe. Down to the basement. Cheers, boys. Thanks, Thanks for yeah, joining fine. us. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the Elevator Hour. All right, let's go back up. Man, so many guests on that break. Oh, Almost yeah. too many. Like, if someone else comes in, I'll be like, hey, this is our show. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Well, I think we need to start talking about the race to the base, Lewis. Yes. It's an idea we had where we've been having the argument for a while now of the age-old argument, what is faster to get down from level two, the top level of the building, mm. to, to the lower basement? That's five floors. But what makes our race a little bit different is generally your stairs go all the way down. Yeah, so we think but... we've been arguing what... So we should establish we've been arguing what the argument is, is, is the elevator quicker? Or are they taking the stairs quicker? Because mm. the elevator you can get held up on. Yes, because people could come in the elevator. Now, I, I believe that generally, in most situations, the stairs are faster if you run. But at our office, the stairs don't actually go all the way to the lower basement. The stairs are split in half. Yes. So in our office, the stairs go to ground level, and then you have to leave our building, go into the coals next door, and take their escalator down to the lower basement. That's two more flights. And that's, and that, and that's not taking a flight of stairs. That's running down two escalator floors, yeah. which will definitely slow me down. I personally believe, I've taken the argument that I actually think the stairs are quicker. You think the elevator's quicker. I think the elevator's quicker. I think it's going to be close, but... Um, so I'm you're really, going to ride really, the elevator? Yeah, I'm really happy about this race because I, I get to uh, win a race without running, which is ideal for me. Well, I mean, you, you, wait, are you going to give yourself another medal if you win this? Uh, I've still got our, our, our medal in the office, yes. so I'd be happy to add another one to okay. my collection. Yeah, you can start a trophy cabinet in our office <laughs> 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 where you beat Luke in pointless radio challenges. Now, right, so, I, I vote, you're not going to get it because... Uh, okay, so after the break, I'll have to head out of the uh, thing. We'll do okay. Let's do the race in the song because in case that'll be bad radio, it'll be lots of me. Yeah. All right. What we'll do is is during the next song right now, Luke is going to leave the elevator briefly, and yeah. uh, I'm going to race him to the lower so we have basement. To go back up to level two. Yep. Um, and then you literally have the easiest job, but you just sit here. Oh yeah, and I'm going to win. I've all been right. training for this. I reckon <laughs> it will take me. I reckon I can get down in about two minutes. So all right, you're on. Shall we? I'm uh, really hoping you get held up at ground. If, so then if when I I'm get held up there. by people coming in and out of the elevator. Elevator. I reckon that could mess up my chances, but no. we'll see. So, this is Luke and Lewis for lunch in the elevator. Luke and Lewis for lunch. We are still doing the elevator hour. But However, we are out of the elevator in the lobby now. Yes. Because it is time for the race to the base. Yes, it's a big race. Probably the greatest race ever since the last time we since raced. like last week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, we have been having a debate. It's a debate that rages in every office. What's faster, the stairs or the elevator? Now, I'm team elevator because it means I don't have to run, so all about that. And I genuinely just think the stairs is quicker, although I did found out yesterday that the stairs don't go to the lower basement. Mm. The stairs only go to ground level, so I have to run out into the shopping complex and meet you down at level yeah, at, at lower there's, base. There's like, your stairs are split in half, yeah. which could throw you off. However, what could throw me off is the how often this elevator gets used. So, should we start the race? Yeah, it's five levels, two men. Uh, you, okay, does the race start the when race you click? starts when I hit the button, I think. Okay. Ready, set, and go. The race begins. I rocket down the stairs while Lewis stands comfortably in the elevator. Oh, am I going to get a smooth run all the way from two to lower basement? That's never happened before. All of a sudden, I got stuck behind people on the stairs. It wasn't looking good for me. One level down. Meanwhile, Lewis is still relaxing while the elevator races for him. I think it's going to happen. Oh! I got a clean run. Oh, I would have I won this easy. I've made it to the shopping centre and onto the escalator. No, 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 there's a pizza guy on the escalator. Move, move. Oh, shit. However, because he had a clean run, Lewis had already won the race to the base. I smashed him. And Luke is not here. I'm at lower basement. That's the easiest race I've ever won in my life. Sorry, mate. What the hell? Sorry, mate. I got here. Well, I got a smooth run from 2 down to LB. I didn't get held up once. So. I got held up by a, a guy holding a pizza on the escalator. <laughs> well, that's what you get, man. Sorry. The uh, elevator is officially way how, how faster. How much quicker are we? Oh, I was here for about 10 seconds. Easy. I <sighs> destroyed you. I don't want to lose another race on this show. <laughs> Sorry, have... mate. Looks like I'm going to have to buy myself another medal. I actually was like, there's no way. Because if you get held up, I would have smashed you. 
Yeah, you would have smashed me if I got held up, but I didn't. I got a clean run, which has never happened in... Have you ever got a clean run from top to bottom? No. No, it doesn't happen here. So I that think the elevator so gods were on my side today. That is so unlucky. I'm actually mad. And if this pizza guy comes out of the escalator here, I'm going to give him a spray. He Do was you want to hold- see if we can get a clean run to the top? Because we need to get back in the elevator. This is still the elevator hour. Race up. Um, yeah, let's see how long it takes to get up. Um, I'll actually race you. Go. Oh, okay. Ready, set, go. Okay, oh, I need my pass. Oh, no. And in the second race, Luke absolutely demolishes me. Oh, he's beat me. And I run up the wrong escalator. I run up the down escalator. <laughs> Almost <laughs> fell over twice. I got held up. Some guy on his phone came in and really didn't want me to speak. He gave me a dirty look. <laughs> oh. Well, there you have it. The, it depends if you get a smooth run or not. Did you get a smooth run up? Yeah, except I ran up the race. <laughs> Okay, so tiebreaker now. You ready? No, <laughs> I'm so done. People keep judging me for running up the stairs. I look like a child. All right, well, that was the elevator, the race to the base, guys. And the and, race uh, from the base. It's, there's the variables. Start. Yeah. Really? That's your answer? The answer is Depen- just take the elevator. Who could be bothered taking the stairs? <laughs> Luke and Lewis for lunch. This is the elevator hour. That brings us to the end of the show. It's the end of the elevator hour, and it's the end of us for about two weeks, uh, we need to tell you. Yeah. But uh, that doesn't end Fist puffed. Bump Fridays, <laughs> because uh, pump the music. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. All right. Everyone's fist bumping in the studio. Well, I'm, I'm, sh- I'm once again shamefully fist bumping after losing yet another race on this show, but I beat you on the way back up. That's true. That's true. So we're at a tie. So really, I'm, but I'm still, it's like one... Time. One, two. <laughs> no, that's it's, how that's how no, two, works. One, two, two, one, one all. Yeah. So I'm on three? Two, one, all. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> racing doesn't know anything about sport. <laughs> He's like, it's 30, 40. Oh, no, it's tennis. Um, but oh, uh, the reason why we're taking a break, ladies and gentlemen, is I have my very first comedy special um, that I need to record on November 17 and 18, and I need to focus on stand-up, so we decided to take a two-week break from radio just so we can focus on nailing that. But we'll be back bigger than ever when we come back. November 20, I think we're coming back. Yeah, November 20, we're coming back. We'll be back on your airways. Uh, we might even do a whole week from the elevator, or they might not let us in the building. I don't think they'll, de- they'll definitely put a stop to that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's the end of us. Thank you very much for listening. We'll be back in two weeks, and uh, check Cheeky plug, and there's about 30 tickets left to each night of my Go comedy special. Go see Lewis's comedy special. I'll be opening. It's going to be a sick night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good night. Good Sorry. Night. It's going to be a good <laughs> night. All right. Thank you very much for listening, guys. That was Luke and Lewis for lunch. See you in two weeks.